Well, hello, Periscope. It's been a while that I've been on here. Amen, amen. I'm going to wait a few minutes, a few minutes. And I'm not going to be <laughs> on here long, even though it hadn't been a while, maybe at the 10, maybe 10 minutes the most that I'll be here. I'll be here. Uh, but I do have a, a word that I want to, a uh, prophetic word that I want to speak to the people of God. I want to speak to you today and uh, give me a few more minutes. I just want to let you know also uh, to my YouTube viewers. Um, I'm going to be uploading this video after, after I'm through it here. Um, but also I do have a Periscope as well. You can go to Ernest West. Um, uh, you can find me on Periscope as well, but also you can find me on Facebook, Facebook at Ernest West as well. Um, and I'd like to greet you in the name of the Lord. Now, I'm kind of, I'm not that good at this, this, um, Periscope thing. I'm trying my best to figure out how to engage and figure out how to talk, not not to talk, but figure out how to see what, see the comments to be able to, where I'm, I'm able to be engaged to be able to talk to you um, today. But I'm going to say a word of prayer first, and then I'm going to give you the message. I'm going to give you the word that God spoke to me. I'm going to give you an example. Then I'm going to give you the prophetic word that God has spoke to me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. I thank you. I bless you. I magnify you, God. God, bless those that come on. Bless those that come on now. Or bless those come on in replay. But those that come on, God, open their spirit up. Your ears can hear uh, what you're saying. You said that he that had an ear, let him hear what the spirit is saying. And you've been speaking. But it's a matter of us listening. And this is why in the season you've been telling us to be still. You want us to be still because you're speaking, even though we're going through troubled times. We're going through many are going through. Many of us are going through so much warfare, so much pressure. Many are in so much fire. But it's in that fire that you are there. The Hebrew boys, the three Hebrew boys, when they were in their fiery furnace, you were there. And God, let us, let us, let us remain patient and calm. Many people, God, many people are nervous. They, they are having panic attacks, anxiety attacks because they can't handle the pressure, because they are worn down, because they're tired, they're weary. But you said in your word, come unto me already that weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. God, give rest to the weary soul, weary heart. Give them strength to bear. Let them know that if they can take it, they can make it. Because it's in this fight and in this test that things are being cultivated, that gifts are being developed. Understanding, revelation, knowledge, even God, that they need to realize that in their fire and their pain, this is where you are. And this is where you reveal strategy. This is where you reveal your mind. This is where you reveal your direction. In Jesus' name, we pray. We thank you. We magnify you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, this is Prophet West. Uh, this is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you all for coming on. Those that are here, those that are listening, those that will listen, God bless you and heaven smile on you. Now, this is the word. Now, this is the word. This is the word. Okay, God says, God said, pull it out. Pull that stinger out. And the reason why I say that, if you notice, many of you are in pain. Many of you are crying out. Many of you are discouraged. Many of you are waiting on God. You've been waiting on God for so long. And many of you feel as though God has hidden himself. You're saying to yourself, where God? Where are you? God, are you going to deliver? This is supposed to be my harvest time. God, I'm tired of hearing the same old prophecies. I'm tired of hearing the same old words. God, I won't show. I want something to happen. This is the hour of the season of miracles. This is the hour of miracles. And I want to say this. I do want to say this. I want to say this right here. God was letting me know that there are many people, you're still fighting the same fight. You're still fighting the same situation. You're still asking God to heal you. You're still asking God for that miracle. But God says the door is already open. So instead of praying and fighting, praise him. Because this is your praise and your thanksgiving. It's going to cause what you've been praying for you to see it. It's before your face. 
You're fighting. You're praying. You're saying, God, when? When my blessing? Well, God said, your blessing is here. Your blessing is in your mouth. Your miracle, your restoration is in your mouth. God, you once you open up your mouth, God will give you the wisdom. God will give you the strategy. God will fill your heart up. Just like in the story of the old prophet and the young prophet that was surrounded by the enemy on this mountain. And the old prophet was okay, but the, the younger prophet was worried and concerned because the younger prophet was, was, was thinking that the enemy was going to defeat them. They think that they, their back was against the wall. So the older prophet prayed and asked God to open up, the eye, open up his eyes that he can see what I see. And when he opened up his eyes, when God opened up that young man's eyes to see what uh, the prophet saw, he saw God's army ready with fire, ready, to, ready for battle. See, this is the place that I, I, this is the place that God is trying to get you to see in the midst of your thing. You think that you are defeated? You think that this thing is too, too tough for you to handle. You think that this thing you can't take this It's too uh, it's too bad to unbear. And see, many of you see what's happening. That It's like everything in your life has come up at the same time. You're out of control. You're uncomfortable. You feel bad. All those things. But when you uncomfortable, your life is upside down. You feel bad. That means that you're growing. When you're uncomfortable, that's when you're growing. Friction is what makes things grow. Just like when you're trying to start a fire, when you get friction on those sticks, it will make fire come. Friction, if you take a negative, a negative and a positive collide together, it generates light. Look at a battery, electricity. It takes a negative and a positive. So the negative is part of your journey. It's part of the building blocks that's shaping you. It's the hands that's cultivating. Your pressure is cultivating you and shaping you. The fire is shaping you into your purpose. Your fire is shaping you into your purpose. This is why you must remain calm. Because in you remaining calm, that fire is going to shape you. Those tribulations are going to shape you. When you, when, you get, when you get rejected, it's shaping you. When people talk about you, it's shaping you. Uh, when they spit on you, they're shaping you. It's shaping you. When you feel all alone, it's shaping you. And see, it's about being alone. See, being alone is not a bad place. See, because with being alone, Jacob, you remember Jacob? After he had, uh, he was going to see his brother because he was going to reunite with his brother, but he was afraid to see his brother because him and his mother had stole his birthright. And so he was going to see his brother. But the Bible said that when he left his family in, in a place, then he left his servant in a place. He went a day's journey. Then the Bible said he was alone. At the place where he was alone, that's when he wrestled with an angel. And an angel did two things. It changed his walk and it changed his name. And but also it came, it pain came because that angel touched the hollow part of his thigh when he saw that day was about to break. And so there's a limp. And so God, see that pain is part of your encounter. Notice your pain is a part of your encounter. See, because in your encounter, you're changing. Your life is changing. Your direction is changing. You hear me? It's changing. So embrace the pain. Become the pain and take the authority away from the pain because the pain that you're feeling is your fuel. The pain that you're feeling is your fuel that's going to that's detonate your purpose. It's detonate your anointing. It's detonate your authority. See, also pain is also fueling your anger. The Bible says, ain't nothing wrong with being angry because the Bible said to be angry, but I'm saying, you can be angry. Don't let the sun go down your, on your wrath. And see, anger is not an emotion, but anger stems from something. Anger steals from a feeling. Anger stems from something, uh, an emotion. It's not an emotion, but it stems from an emotion. And your emotion is determination. Your emotion is passion. Your emotion is faith. Your emotion is not giving up. Your emotion is being steadfast. Your emotion is being unmoving and always abounding in the work of God. That's your emotion. And what that's doing, that's fueling your anger. It's fuel. The Bible says faith is the substance thing from for, but faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God, listen to this. You know, God is saying, be still. And I'm going to give you an example. Now, I'm going to take this right here. This little, this little McDonald's cup. A little sweet tea, you know, down south. Now, this McDonald's cup. Now, once this cup is empty, once this cup is empty, and I have this bottle right here. If I begin to pour, matter of fact, I'm going to do it. I'm going to give you a visual. This is what God is doing. With this cup, with faith, with everything you're going through, this is what God is doing. He's pouring in. 
He's pouring in faith. He's pouring in strength. He's pouring in this determination. He's pouring in strength. He's filling you up with his word. The more you read, the more you trust God. He's filling you up. He's pouring it in. And so what's going to happen over a period of time is going to overflow. This is where what God is doing. We're in a season of overflow. God wants you to be blessed abundantly. Overflow. See, but see, but what you have to do, you have to be still. Because if I'm pouring and if I move this cup, then this water is going to spill on the ground. God don't want it to spill on the ground. God wants you to get it all. This is why God is saying be still. He's saying be still because he wants you to get it all. He wants you to hear his word because this is him speaking to you. And your pressure and your pain. When you're nervous, when you want to give up. When you, your mind is talking to you, when you feel discouraged, you feel useless. He's speaking to you. And see, you have to block all those things out and hear God. Because when you're hearing God, God's going to give you the answer. He's going to give you the antidote. He's going to give you the direction in all those cases. But this is why you must be still. But also, the title of my message, he's pulling out the stinger. In other words, the stinger, you know what the stinger is? The stinger is hurt. The stinger is your past. The stinger is rejection. The stinger is all those things. See, many of you are crying out. You're crying out because that stinger is in you. It's still in you. You didn't let it go. That past, your past, you didn't let it go. You didn't pull it out. That pain, that person that hurt you, that unforgiveness in your heart, that's a stinger. That bitterness that came up in your heart, God wants you to pull all of that out. He wants you to pull it all out. He wants you to pull all of that out. Put it out. And when you pull it out, you're going to find a release. See, because many of you have been swe you're swelling up. You're swole. Many of you are swole with discouragement. You're swole with hurt. You're swole with bitterness. You're swole with all that gossip. All that. You're swole because this thing is there. God is saying, pull this thing out. I'm not, God said, I'm not going to pull it out. You got to pull it out. Pull that thing out. Pull it out. Pull it out. And see, because the longer that thing stays in there, infection will stay there. Even you might run the risk of gangrene might get in there. So you got to pull it out. Pull that thing out. Pull that stuff out. And the moment that you pull it out, you're going to find a release. And the moment that you pull it out, God's power is going to come in. Hear me? Hear me? Pull it out today. I'm done, but this is my first time in a long time on Periscope. But I'm also on YouTube as well. And you can find me, Ernest West, on YouTube as well. I'm also on Facebook, Ernest West, as well. But most of my focus and most of my target has been on YouTube. This is where God is moving. This is where God is moving by in a, in a mighty way. God is creating and God is bringing miracles. God is uh, brought in miracles. This is the season now of manifestation. God is manifesting. God is showing notable miracles. And as an example, two things. The miracle, God told me I was coming out a year ago. My son was paralyzed, 13 years old. Today, he's healed. He's walking. He's standing. But not only that, is that a notable miracle? Also, my wife is pregnant, seven weeks pregnant. So God has given me double for my trouble. Double. This is an hour and this is a season where God has given double for your trouble, what you've been through. But what you got to do, you got to hang in there, hang around. And if you stand the test of time, after a while, as my spiritual father, Apostle Mel Moses would say, after a while, by and by, <laughs> he's going to come to your rescue. Amen. Is that all right? God bless you.